Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to talk about some PvP basics. Uh, I'm going to try to make this a series. As a disclaimer first, I'm not the best at PvP, but I do have a huge understanding of how it's supposed to work, but as you guys, I'm trying to get better each day. So, uh, I'm going to roll the intro and we're going to try to disinsect one and analyze one of the fights that I had with my friends. In this fight, I was in an Aurora, he was in a Gladius, and uh, yeah, you're going to see how it went. And I'm going to try to make you understand uh, by doing animations and all of that. It's going to take me a lot of fucking time, so drop a like, drop a subscribe, drop a few coins in the Patreon uh, bucket. And <laughs> shit, like shameless fucking promo, but it's gonna take a lot of time. And I hope in the end you will uh, understand more about the basics of PvP. Uh, as the series uh, like comes along, you will learn more and more. I'll try to do uh, this every week, but we will see how it works. Cause yeah, it's gonna be with a lot of animations and all that. So I'm just gonna shut up and roll the intro and uh, let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. You want to go? Yeah. All right, so first things first. This here is your velocity meter. That is really important because the blue line represents your SCM speeds. And you need, when you're fighting, you need to stay in that range. Maybe go slightly above to the red zone, but stay in the SCM speeds. Why is that? Well, SCM speeds indicate that your main thruster or your rear thruster is not gonna overpower the other thrusters that you have on your ship. So basically what that means is that you'll be able to change direction and change the flight path of your ship really fast without using just the rear thruster because you're gonna be using all kinds of strafes and motions. If you're keeping yourself at the SCM speeds, you will be able to change direction really fast because uh, if you go above that, your main thruster is gonna be much more effective than any other thruster. So when fighting, keep your speed in SCM zone, so in the blue zone. Second thing is the readout around the ship or uh, below the name of the enemy is really valuable and that's basically why we are using the lag pep if you don't know how to switch to the lag pep you go to game settings and it's really easy to find but like you can bind it to another key or to a joystick key bind if you want to but you can just keep the setting on lag pep because it's really useful because if you use the lead pep as most people do it's gonna be really hard to see the direction that uh, the nose of the enemy is pointing at and the info that is written below the enemy's name, uh, which is really valuable at times. So let's talk about the info first. On the left side, you can see that he is one kilometer away from me and you can see some meters per second. So when the number is a negative number, like it is right now, that means that he is moving away from me. If it turns into a positive number, that means that he is moving towards me. So you should use the lag pip, but let's continue watching the fight. You wanna go? Yeah. You, you gotta get close to me. Like, the Gladius has the best turning speeds out of, out of all fighters, so... Now, what I'm saying here is uh, that the Gladius actually has the best turning rates out of all fighters, and it was like 8 a.m. and I was really tired, so I, I didn't know <laughs> what I was saying, but it does. It has the best turning rates, and on top of that, it has one of the best accelerations in any direction. Uh, the best acceleration, of course, is going to be utilizing the uh, main afterburners or the main thrusters, so forward acceleration. And the second best acceleration on the Gladius or on any other ship is going to be the upwards acceleration. So what I'm telling him here is 
to get close to me. And one more thing that you need to think about here is that the Gladius has only three guns and with the spray and spread of those guns, you really want to be close to the target. Because if you have more guns, so if you're, uh, for example, in a Buccaneer, uh, that spread at uh, a long distance, like one kilometer, uh, is actually going to help you to hit the target. You're not going to deal much damage, but you're going to at least hit the target. Also, at that distance, uh, you're not really going to hit much because uh, slight maneuvers can completely throw off your aim and the repeater uh, lasers are just going to be lagging behind the person because you're going to shoot at where they were like a second ago, basically. With the Gladius, you need to have some like pinpoint accuracy and there is a way how to learn or teach yourself how to do that and I'm going to talk about that later. But right now, the main thing is that he needs to get close to me and he needs to make me go into a raid fight because his raids are better than mine because Aurora doesn't have the best raids. Also, uh, try to pull me into like 45 degrees angle from your Corsair. Now, what I'm saying here is that he should place me at the 45 degree angle from his crosshair. Now, here's why. Uh, the fastest way to turn into a fighter is if you utilize both or all of your rates that you have. So, if you utilize roll, yaw, and pitch at the same time, you're going to have the best rate combined because you just, you're just combining those rates. It goes the same for people that are trying to like mini joust you and just fly around you. If you want to follow them, you gotta keep them at your corner, like right or left corner of your screen so you can pitch, roll and yaw into them. If you only try to pitch into them, it's gonna be much, much slower than you want it to be. So try to utilize all the rates at the same time. So try to use your roll, your pitch and your yaw rates at the same time to get your guns on the target. It goes the same for keeping your aim on the target. You just keep them at the 45 degree angle because you can turn better and you can aim better at that angle. If you try to pitch, you're going to lose the target if he has better uh, pitch rates than you have. And Gladius, as I said, has a better pitch rate uh, than the Aurora. That was good. Getting your shoulders up. Now, what he did here was actually a good thing, because he pushed through me, he pushed over me, or as some people say, up and over, and I couldn't shoot at him when he was that close or when he was behind me. He couldn't shoot at me, but the idea was for him to get his shields up. Now, this is a good thing because my reactions are always going to be slower than his actions and vice versa. So, in other words, he diverted his power to shields first or before me, and he knew that he wants to push through, and he has slight advantage because he's going to have that boost or that power diverted to shields for a longer duration of time that, that I'm going to have because I'm reacting to his actions. So I'm always going to lag behind the guy that's acting first, right? Now, this was pretty nicely executed because he was still staying close. He didn't like joust through me and uh, go like three kilometers away like most people do. But instead, he stayed close. And if my shield was low, it would be still lower than his shield that he just like recharged. Because my reaction time is going to be slower than his actions. So this was very well executed. But note one thing that I did, and I did it right. When he passed me, I held him at a 45 degree angle from my crosshair. Or I just let him go into the corner of my screen so I can catch up to him faster because I was utilizing all of my rates that are available on my ship. So I had my guns fast on him even though he just passed me and went right behind me. Now, I don't know if you caught this, but for a second there, he forced me to fight in yaw, and I don't want to do that, 
and my aim was completely off so I had to correct myself and try to utilize all the rays that I have so I had to like put him here in the 45 degree angle from the crosshair and shoot again and that is where you want to hold the enemy or the target now he started pitching upwards which would make me like fight in yaw again and I did for a second and then I corrected and there you go my lag pip is again on top of him Okay, so what you just did was really good. You, you want to do more of that. So what he did here is, well, he wasn't predictable. He pulled his stick into another direction, slightly. Because if you do it too hard, you're just gonna like completely waste energy and you're gonna stay in the same spot basically for a longer duration of time. But he pulled on the stick slightly and he rolled a bit to, to the other side and therefore he canceled the turn that we had and made a new turn so I had to adjust my aim for that. So I missed a couple of shots and that was a good thing but he needs like he still needs to learn how to do it properly all the time because that's the issue with most players uh in the pu like most of them are just predictable and they move at like at the same speed at the same pace towards the same direction and just try to aim uh, at you like you're a pve bounty and like pvp is completely different because i can uh cancel the turn and make a new turn every like every second basically and you need to adjust and that's what he needs to do and what, that's what you guys need to do but i'm gonna talk about the evasives in another video now i don't know if you caught this but the way that i managed to get my guns again on the target this fast is because i boosted slightly like i tapped the boost button and i up strafed while applying a right strafe like a slight right strafe because we're currently turning into a left strafe circle we're constantly strafing around each other to the left and if you apply an upwards motion like an upward strafe and a right strafe to the to a left strafe circle you're gonna close that circle a bit and and you're gonna have your guns on the target faster if you want to uh, expand the circle you're gonna apply even more pressure to the stick to the left or you're, you're gonna uh, strafe to the left a bit more and you're gonna strafe downwards because that's gonna pull you away from the target uh, like the, the second step would be to do that to like do evasive maneuvers while you're firing while you're aiming I'm just trying to get my shields back you gotta push through me and just like go behind me so you can get your shields up because this is not gonna work. Yep. Now the reason that he didn't get his shields up and that uh, he died there is because he didn't push through me. Now let me talk about the circle a bit more. So here you can see on Aurora and his Gladius or my Aurora and his Gladius. So we were making a left hand circle so we were strafing constantly to the left because he was forcing a circle to the left. Uh, maybe I was forcing it, it doesn't really matter. But what he needed to do to push through me or to get close to me and then push through me is to cancel the circle or to make it smaller and you can make it smaller by pushing your stick to the other side or basically if the circle is going to the left you want to strafe to the right and maybe tricord like upwards forwards and to the right so you can close the circle uh, much faster because if you're strafing to the right in a left hand circle you will close that circle you can try it with your friends and you'll see how it works and it also works the other way around. If uh, the circle is moving to the right, you want to uh, strafe to the left so you can close the circle. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Now, the one more thing that I wanted to talk about is how you can challenge yourself and how you can uh, practice with other people and practice your aim to get better at PvPing in this game. And you can do it like easily with your friends if you have friends. Uh, you just need like a ship, a fighter, whichever fighter you want to uh, practice with and try to disengage or to uh, power down all of the weapons that you have and just leave one repeater active and then you can fly around 
try to shoot each other and you're not gonna kill each other that fast and you can try all the maneuvers and all the strategies that you learned in this video uh and like yeah i'm gonna talk about uh all the other maneuvers uh that you need to know so you can survive and try and like kill people uh in a pvp environment in one of the next videos so keep an eye out and subscribe and like and all that so thank you for watching and a huge thank you to all the patrons that are supporting the channel if you want to support the channel there's going to be a link down in the description of the video and i hope you learned something today so thank you for watching uh love you kisses and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space bye